Welcome to your 2020 Senior Farewell Assembly. Seniors, put on your glasses because our future is bright. Thank you guys for watching the video. We've, uh, we've got a lot planned. We've been working on this for the past couple of weeks and we hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. too fast who'd have guessed that we'd end up here but I'm glad you're here endlessly there's a voice inside my head that recites the things you always said Darkest times, I swear it's true. Broken down a sea of tears for us, the only year that seemed futile. But I promise it's worthwhile.
Captain's Log Entry 061020 Today, I will be preparing for graduation with the rest of my class of 2020 from Glacier Peak High School. I'll be entering a new, unknown part of my life with twists and turns at every corner. I'm extremely proud to say that I was a part of this class of 2020, and I am extremely proud to say that I was one of your classmates. The more that I think about it, these last four years have been an integral part of my life. It seems just like yesterday, I was this socially awkward freshman who used music to block out the world, walking into high school for the very first time. That was until my dad told me. Son, you're entering into the great American social experiment. Dad, it's really just high school. Son, you're not listening to me. The high school is the great American social experiment. Mm, wrong. High school is where you get to get good grades so you get to go to college. No, 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 buddy. You're missing the point. If this is where you have fun, go experience life a little. Get a girlfriend, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, I still have not fulfilled my father's goal for me. It's fine. He'll just continue to pester me about it anyways. I mean, once I get one, he and mom will start talking about marriage and kids, and we just need to slow down. At the time, I didn't know what he meant by this great American social experiment. It was just more school, right? Yet, the more that I look at it, the more I realize he really was right. This social experiment that we were thrown into for the last four years has taught us about ourselves, each other, and society. Perhaps we have learned just as much from our interactions with one another as we have from our own classwork. We've become rooted in our own self-identity, and this has propelled us to move forward as people today. When we think about it, as of April 29th, 2020, the average lifespan of a person in the United States of America is 78.6 years, according to the CDC. See, I cite my sources. This means that high school is just about 6.4% of our life. It's not a big portion of it, but it's still a significant part of who we are. Now, I know going forward, not all of us are going to be the next Lieutenant Uhura, Commander Spock, or even Captain Kirk. Hit it, Sulu. It would be really awesome to captain the USS Enterprise right now. Nevertheless, the potential in this class of 2020 to change the world is immense. We cannot be complacent. We cannot wait for others because we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to be better today than we were yesterday. So we must seize this bull by the horns and pursue that. In an edited version of the ever infamous James Tiberius Kirk and every Enterprise captain to follow. Life, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the class of 2020. It's continuing mission to change the world, to seek out a better, more fulfilling life to live boldly and responsibly like no one has before.
Hello, and congratulations. I am so excited for you guys. This is, um, this is my favorite time of the year, and that has everything to do with uh, what you have accomplished, being able to celebrate with you and um, kind of acknowledge all those years from kindergarten until now, and um, all those little things that uh, seemed so huge at the time and being able to look back at them now and, and realize they might not have been that big a deal, but they were significant and they were, uh, they were relevant in what they taught you at the time. And here you are now able to kind of put all that together and think about that's different now, moving on, moving forward. And I want to encourage you, you may feel like you're not ready. You may feel like you can't wait, but being uncertain about what that's going to mean for you, what that's going to mean with regards to just immediately or next year, uh, your success or not. What does that mean socially in terms of who are you going to meet and spend time with? All of that is um, it's kind of normal challenges to kind of grapple with right now because you know that what has been is about to change significantly. But I want to also suggest that you're ready, you're prepared, and um, this whole thing about uh, Glacier Peak being, you know, having a mission statement about uh, helping to prepare you, we're just part of the team, a team that you're definitely the center of. But the other members of your team have, uh, have been raising you your whole life, extended family, immediate family. Congratulations to them as well. All those uh, coaches and teachers and um, people that uh, picked you up at a bus stop. I mean, just situation after situation has contributed to who you are right now. And uh, I just wanna speak on behalf of so many of those people that aren't going to get a chance to, to tell you this at this moment, we're proud of you. We're proud of who you are. You guys in particular have been a really special group of people to come through Glacier Peak. And I am so grateful for your leadership and um, how you've treated the, uh, the other students at Glacier Peak, the other grade levels for how you've modeled to them. This is what we do as seniors. This is how we take care of everybody, including people outside of our grade at Glacier Peak. Thank you for that. That will uh, continue a legacy, ideally that they will see what you've done, see how you've been, see who you've been, and wanna follow in your footsteps. And I appreciate that. When I um, finished college myself, which was pretty uncertain time for me, I um, ended up going to Kenya, East Africa. My mom had been over there as a nurse and uh, after a period of time, she decided she wanted to work with uh, kids that were homeless. And uh, she ended up renting a house and together with some other uh, people that lived in Kenya, they, um, 
brought in five different boys and, and um, provided school for them, provided family for them. And uh, I bring that up right now because going to Kenya was, uh, was one of the more extreme things that I uh, ever experienced in terms of jumping into a new lifestyle. Um, a lot of poverty, but um, also really a wonderful culture of spending time with each other and valuing each other and doing whatever needed to happen to take care of each other. I um, really appreciated the idea that there wasn't a lot of uh, entertainment to distract from relationships. And so the result would be after kind of the day's work was done, people just wanted to uh, go visit somebody at their house and, and sit outside and talk. And those, um, those conversations, those moments are uh, still reminders to me that our relationships with other people doesn't require anything other than our interest in being kind and generous with time and, and, uh, and money isn't a part of that. Um, location isn't a part of that. I mean, these, uh, the idea that um, whatever's about to happen for you, you still have that regardless of all kinds of external factors. You still have what you've been participating in at Glacier Peak, this taking care of each other, this being about uh, seeing if you can step up in one way or another to uh, to help somebody out. For me, I find a ton of reward in that very thing. And um, I appreciate being able to partner with you during these last number of years to, uh, to make that happen. You know, you think about the number of hours we spend at school, well, normally, and that's a lot more than, uh, than we spend anywhere else. Even, uh, you know, if you're just looking at the waking hours or at school, a lot more of our waking hours than we are through the week anywhere else. And it's been a pleasure to, uh, to kind of work through um, all that we've experienced. Some of it's been really tough and some of it uh, as a school, um, it's just been uh, some challenges that we walked through together could start naming them off, but I know that they're already going through your thoughts uh, at this minute. Um, I also want to, uh, want to encourage you that whatever you're thinking about doing for your future, keep paying attention to what you're just naturally good at. That's, I think, the, uh, the most enjoyable way to spend your day is doing something that's, uh, that's kind of a natural interest. And I want to encourage you to do that even if the training for that is going to take a while. I, uh, I think for people that are going to school somewhere, sometimes we, we have a dream and we start moving away from that dream because it seems like it's going to be too expensive or it's going to take too long, too many years of school, or too long of an internship. But I want to... Uh, I want to just present the idea that a lot of what you're doing for the school moving forward won't be like the school that you've experienced. Uh, there'll be a little bit more of that, but if you're looking at a program or an internship that's going to take a lot of your time, it's probably going to be time doing the very thing you'll enjoy. If you end up uh, spending the first few years doing some more general ed kind of classes, well, that's part of it. But if you end up choosing something that uh, that you're wondering about, ah, it's going to take, it's going to just take too much from me. Just know that the rest of your life, you get to be doing the thing that you're enjoying. If you continue going after that dream now, don't miss out because there's some anxiety or fear about that thing. Also want to uh, encourage you to continue being generous. I think there's so much reward that comes from uh, having a generous uh, heart towards other people. And I'm not just talking about money, although that can be 
it's certainly a way to be generous, but taking something to somebody that uh, is in need, being willing to sit with somebody and, and um, even if you don't know what to say, but just giving your presence, being able to, uh, to be with somebody, maybe somebody that's uh, having a, a struggle of, I don't know, all kinds of things, right? But being willing to just be with them. It's certainly another way to, maybe the most important way to be generous. But if you end up being somebody that, uh, that is successful financially, certainly figure out how you can give to others, figure out how you can take care of the other people around you or the people across the world. That's going to be, bring a lot of fulfillment. But I also trust that uh, you guys will have fun uh, and you'll find ways to have fun. I, uh, I also have really enjoyed the time we've, we've had together, whether that's uh, some crazy moment in an assembly, somebody just uh, laughing their head off at a lunch table, um, being at a sporting event or being at uh, some other production, if that's a musical or band or choir event. You guys are just, uh, <laughs> you're easy to find laughter and I've always enjoyed that with you and enjoyed that about you. So I trust that you'll continue that too, regardless of uh, what circumstances you find yourself in to continue finding joy. I think so much of life is about perspective, about being grateful for what you have, even if so much is, is a challenge, continue to, uh, to have that heart of gratitude. And I, uh, I also um, want you to know that we will miss you. We already are missing you. And the reason for that, because we care about you deeply. Class of 2020. It's a fantastic group of people. And I sure appreciate you. Thank you for uh, giving me this chance to, to talk to you. Thank you for listening to me. But most of all, thank you for your contribution to Glacier Peak. Good things are ahead for you guys. We look forward to hearing about it.
These are the nights that never die, my father told me. Hey guys, Mr. Vito here. Uh, I just want to say congratulations. I miss you all. Um, you guys have been awesome throughout your four years of GP. I'm really going to miss you guys. Please stay in touch. Text, call, email, whatever you need to do. I miss you all. Uh, I'll see you soon. Talk to you later. Hello, class of 2020. You know, we started GP together four years ago. And while we're not leaving together, it has been an honor watching you all grow up the last four years. You become some really amazing people, and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, senior. You had the toughest year of anybody, and you did it. Thank you. Class of 2020, congratulations. So glad you're graduating. Remember in the future to think about the earth when you make decisions, be a good steward, and make sure when this is over to go out and have a great adventure. Congratulations, seniors. I miss you. I know that this is a really challenging time, but you've got this. You've got your whole life and future ahead of you. Go sick them. I love you. Take care and come visit. Hey, class of 2020, don't look back. You're not going that way. Make it the best because you're capable. We love you. You have a great future ahead. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, seniors. <laughs> Email me if you're in my class. Hey, All right. Have a good summer. Well, howdy, y'all. Who's this sitting in front of you? Well, it's me, Mr. Benson. Here in the beautiful lake, serene, away from everybody, trying to avoid that COVID-19. Dangerous out there. That's why I grew this beard. God's filter, that's what I call it. Anyway, I know you miss me. I've missed you. Haven't been able to teach about Shakespeare, how to form a sentence without sounding like a darn idiot. But hey, here we are in the midst of a pandemic. I sure wish I could have had more time with you, but hey, you're smart folk. You're gonna get through this. You're gonna wrestle up reality, grab your future by the horns and make the best out of it. I just want y'all to love each other, give empathy, show some grace, keep in touch. Email's a bit tough to get out here. If you've got some sort of trained animal that could find me, track me down, well, Maybe I'll talk with you later. Otherwise, good luck out there. <laughs> Keep safe. Happy graduation. Bye now. Hold on. Have some. Bye. Yee! Hey, seniors. We really miss you. Congratulations on finishing the year. I'll tell you one of the things that staff always looks forward to is graduation because we want to celebrate with you. Sorry that we haven't been able to do it this year, but God, we wish you the best. You have a great summer and enjoy the next step in your life. Hey, class of 2020, this is the weirdest way to end, but I'm so proud of how hard you're working to stay engaged. You're gonna do awesome things. You've grown a lot since I've seen most of you your freshman year and you're ready to be adults and take on the world. Good luck. Congratulations, seniors. We're so proud of you, and we're going to miss you a lot. We miss you now, and hopefully we'll see you again someday. <laughs> hey, class of 2020. I'm just sitting in my backyard, all alone, super thirsty, staring at these Coke bottles. Um, congratulations. It's been a long, weird journey. 
but you guys were a special class to me, and I'm really excited to see what you do in the future. One day these will be cold, and we'll share them. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm going to really miss you. You are fantastic. Love you guys, and wish you all the best in the future. Take care. Congratulations, seniors. I miss you. I know that this is a really challenging time, but you've got this. You've got your whole life and future ahead of you. Go sick them. I love you. Take care and come visit. Congratulations, class of 2020. We miss you and we wish you all the best. Seniors, the best years of my teaching have been here. It's because of you. Thank you. Good luck. Stop by, check in with us all. I want to see you. Bye. Well, seniors, awesome job making it all the way to the end of high school. Great work. Uh, it's been just a real joy and blessing for me getting to know a lot of you over the past uh, four years. Um, good luck in whatever you're going to next. And uh, please just keep in touch. Let us know all the awesome things that you're doing out there in the world. Good luck, class of 2020. You got this. Make it great. Go TP. Hey, class of 2020, just giving a shout out to you. So proud of all that you've accomplished. You're pushing through, finishing strong. Just remember, you guys can do anything you put your minds to. Reach for the stars and never give up. Congratulations, seniors. Good luck. Hello, seniors. Mr. Larson here. Just want to say congratulations. Not sure where we are right now, but... Uh, I just wish we were together, but I wish you all the best. You deserve the best, and we are forever, GP. Hey, Senior Class 2020. You did great this year. You will never be forgotten. Have a great life. Hey, seniors. What a ride, right? I just wanted to tell you, as you head on to wherever your next journey may lead you, whether that's the Peace Corps, mission, gap year, maybe you're going to the military, to your college, for your college. I don't know, whatever your next journey is, just don't forget all the random stuff you learned from questions of the week. For two reasons. One, you never know if you're gonna be on Jeopardy. You might beat Ken Jennings, you never know. And two, knowledge really is power. I will sincerely miss you, and I hope your next part of your journey is amazing and you learn all kinds of things. And remember, you know where we work, right? So you can come say hi later after the school day though, because you don't want to check in as a visitor. Bye, class of 2020, good luck. Guess who? <laughs> Through the foggy eyes. I'm saying congratulations, you did a great job. We love you and we miss you, but you're gonna have a great life and all the best. Seniors, congrats on graduating in 2020. Uh, those of you who are in my class, right now, we might be in the whale's belly, but we will come out better because of it. Congrats, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Good job. To the class of 2020, congratulations on your terrific accomplishments. I've watched many of you grow into outstanding people and musicians. I'm enormously proud of the efforts you undertook to reach these heights. You have taken the extra effort, gone the extra mile, whether it was band buddies, pit orchestra, or grizzly band. The class of 2020 has made Glacier Peak a terrific place to belong. Congratulations and way to go. Hey class of 2020, go out and do good. And don't forget, support local agriculture. Congratulations! Congratulations class of 2020 from Mrs. Mallory. Congratulations, you did it! Yay! Hey seniors, Mrs. Scott here, wishing you the very best. Um, I'm really sad to see you go, uh, but I'm going with you. So this is my senior year too. That's one thing I've learned about Grizzlies is that when we get knocked down, we get back up and you've done a great job of doing that. And, uh, and I wish you the very best. And I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Hey there, class of 2020, a true class of destiny. As such, history has its eyes on you. You've been on my radar ever since you were sophomores, and I've been impressed. Get it, Queen Victoria there? They say that hindsight is 2020, but it's been clear to me all along that you are, wait for it, the exception. The class of 2020 is the exception. 
you have been an extraordinary class and I have enjoyed seeing you around the halls of Glacier Peak for the past four years and I know you're going to go on to live extraordinary lives. Good luck and it's been a pleasure. Congratulations class of 2020. We hope you have a wonderful future ahead of you and we miss you and good luck with everything. Hey Glacier Peak seniors, way to go. Congratulations, stay safe. GP Seniors, this is Carabello. Just want to say thank you for inspiring me to move forward, for sharing your stories and your hearts with me, and I wish you all the best as you journey forth from Glacier Peak. Remember, we love you. Take care. Hey, Class of 2020, Mr. Hill. Just uh, wishing you guys good luck and congratulations on graduating in the weirdest fashion I think anybody has ever seen or heard of. So congratulations, good luck, wish you guys the best. Take care. Class of 2020, you hold a special place in my heart. I've had the privilege of watching you grow from some of you kindergartners all the way up to these incredible adult beings you've become. You are amazing people. So I usually like to read Oh, the places you'll go to all of my lovely seniors each year as my parting goodbye. Um, let me just paraphrase the end for you. So, be your name Bucksbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Alley, Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Make us proud. I know you will. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It has been a great past four years and I know I speak for all of us when we say thank you so much for bearing with us. It's been kind of a crazy year, so thank you. And we'll see you at graduation. Make, Make it, it a, a great, great day, day Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your Memories bring back, memories bring back your there's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop oh, yeah. Now my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never try Yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright
ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah And then you turn and then you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Every darkened door Where blues won't haunt you anymore Where the brave are free And lovers soar Come ride with me To the distant shore We won't hesitate To break down the garden gate There's not much time left today
place won't be. You just remember what your old past said. Boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got trouble, and I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together, see it through, cause you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Well, some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am, big and stronger too. Maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy. And as the years go by, a friendship will never die.
brush you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and with small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last time. Don't let the light guide you away. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take will always lead you. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began.